Hello everybody, this is Stobe from iDev Depot, and I wanted to take a quick moment here to show you two different ways that you can use the output from the new list menu tool and get it into your apps. So I've got here uh, my test app, and I've got the video list menu, which we can see has been loaded in with all these videos that I've saved a ton of time with the tool. And let me show you how I get this to work two different ways. The first way is probably the easiest, by taking the output file from the tool and we're going to go right into our project at Buzz Touch. This is a version 1.5 project. And here's my video list menu. And I've just opened up the advanced menu properties, screen data URL, and I put a Dropbox file uh, URL in there. You have to make sure that this is, in fact, a public folder or else it will not work. But you can put it in a subfolder of your public folder to keep things organized and once you paste that in there uh, that's all you really need to do uh, refresh the app and it'll work now if you don't want to have this linked to a Dropbox account if you want it built into the app so that it doesn't require any internet at all the first time that you run it then we can include it into the uh, BT config text a little harder to do but it's uh, really quite simple once you do it a couple times and let me show you how that's done So I'm going to show right here the output of the text file. This would be the output from my list menu tool. This is all of the JSON data that's required. The same file that we've hosted on Dropbox. But to get this to work without using the Dropbox, I'm going to go into Xcode and find this item that is the video list menu. So I've got it separated here to make it easy to see. Here's the item nickname video list menu. It is, in fact, a BT screen menu list. And I can see the data URL is in there, the Dropbox URL. And I've got an empty child items. So the child items is where that data needs to be. Now, it's empty right now because I do have a data URL. So to make this work, I'm going to have to delete this data URL. I'm also going to have to delete that from the control panel in case it calls back to the control panel and, and asks for the URL. It'll still be there and then I have to get the child items in there. So first thing first, inside Xcode I'm going to delete this out. Make sure that I do delete the comma also to keep the uh, not having a double comma. So I take that right out. I'm going to go to the control panel also and delete this out. And then the last step is going to be pasting in that JSON data. So I can see here the child items has an open square brace and a closed square brace. That's where I need to put it right there. So let me get that text file open again. I'm going to see up here we've got the child items already in the open square brace. We're going to go past that. Go to the first open squiggly brace or whatever you want to call that curly brace. Highlight all of that all the way down until we have just a square brace close and a close curly brace left uncopied. So I'm going to have two close braces there, a square and a curly brace open here, and everything else is going to be copied. So I copy that, paste it right into there, And here it all is. Now what I want to do next is actually delete the app from the springboard to make sure that it gets all the old data out before I rerun it. For some reason a clean build doesn't work so I'm just going to relaunch it let it recopy everything freshly onto the simulator and we'll see if it works. Scroll down to my video list menu and there it is. You can see it loaded up right away without having to download anything from Dropbox and it's all there ready to go. I hope that helps you guys out on using the new list menu tool 
And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to find me on the forums or go to www.idefdepot.com. Thanks.